Hi, my name is Armand Shah, Vice President of Kite, and welcome back to the Python course. Today we're going to be going over Booleans and logical operators. So in the last few lessons we went over integers, floaters, uh, sorry, floats, and uh, strings. And integers are just numbers, floats are numbers with decimals, and strings are anything with quotation marks between them, numbers, phrases, and words. And now we're going to go over Booleans, and Booleans are very simple because they only have two values um, and these two values are true and false so they're expressions that have true or false values and you could so that simply means that the words true and false are booleans and um, you, if you type them you would get bool short for booleans as we learned that this type function um, in the past video uh, but one thing that we have before we go to my text editor and def truly define what booleans are we have to go over this new operator. So remember, operators are just functions like multipl multiplying, dividing. This one is this two equal signs, double equal sign. And it's unlike the singular equal sign. So the singular equal sign, which we learned before, assigns variables, assigns values. It means x is equal to 4. This one kind of asks if uh, two values are equal. So you could say 5 double equal sign 5, and that is true. 5 doubles equals sign 4, and that is obvi obviously false. So it's more of a comparison operator. It compares if it is true. It always asks if it's true. So this one's asking over here, is 5 equal to 5? And obviously, the answer is true. So I'm going to open my uh, text editor. Replit is down at the moment, so I'm using my one I have downloaded. And we're going to we're gonna start with some Boolean. So x equals true. So again, we don't have to write in string form because true is a Python reserved word. And I can see why is it going to false. So if we were to print the type of x, oops, we would get class boolean because that is uh, true. And same thing with y. So we'll get boolean right there. Because x and y, true and false, uh, they are booleans. Now we can also say print, uh, let's say 3 equals 3. So over here we're asking, is 3 equal to 3? And print that answer. So we're saying, is 3 equal to 3? We know the answer is true, so it's going to print true. True. If we did 4, we know that's false. False. That's simply what a Boolean is it returns a value true or false. We could also assign it to variables as you saw here, but it's very simple because it's simply true or false. Uh, and you could also assign this to variables like this, x equals three, y equals four. You could do this. You can kind of become creative with it, and we'll learn some creative ways in a second. So, to better understand Booleans, there's also other operators you could use. So these are more operators involving equal signs and booleans so this one exclamation mark and then equal sign means is not equal to greater than less than we kind of you should know this it just means x is greater than y x is less than y this one is x is greater than or equal to y this one's x is less than or equal to y simple math operations and we will use these uh some of these we'll use in this lesson and others we will use in the next lesson uh, over here, the x is y is a little bit different than the, well, it's totally different from the equal sign because x equals y assigns x to y. x equals 3 assigns x to 3. When you're saying is, it's saying is the same as y. So it's not assigning variables. Uh, this is good for uh, loops and conditional statements, which we'll learn uh, in the next lesson. And x is not y is simply just the opposite. x is not the same as y. So uh, you might not find a use of these immediately, but uh, there is a strong use to them, which when you start learning more Python syntax, you'll understand. So there's three operators we have to first understand when, uh, to better understand Booleans. And these are logical operators because they are pretty much what they, what they mean in English and or not so these are also Python reserved words Python understands these three words and you could use them in boolean expressions what when you're saying X is greater than Y or X is less than Y so for example if I said X is greater than 0 and X is less than 10 then you uh, it's gonna this would be true if 
x is greater than 0 and if x is less than 10. And you can use the or statement and you can use a not statement. So we're going to go over them. So let's say x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 4. So we're going to print x is greater than y. Uh, let's actually start with less than. Let's print that. True, because 3, which is x, is less than 4, which is y. If we did greater than, then we'll, we'll get false. So you could also do greater than or equal to, which would also be false, and less than or equal to. Um, where is it? Which will also be true. So now, uh, let's say I said uh, x is, let's keep it at 3. I could say um, print x is greater than 0 and x is less than 10. So because x is greater than 3, uh, sorry, x is 3, that means x is greater than 0. So that's true. That's one thing that's true. And this is true because x is also less than 10. So this would return true. Uh, what's going on here? Unexpected indent. True. And that's true because 3 is between them. Um, if we were to do x equals, let's do 11. Uh, let's do negative 1. So obviously that wouldn't be true. That would not be true. That would be false. Just for the sake that x is actually less than uh, 0. And uh, not uh, while, while it is less than 10, it isn't less than 0. So we could do or. And let's change this to equal to. So we could do this. So uh, let's, do, let's do 15. So if we do 9. Let's go to the y. That's true, right? X 9 is less than 10. We don't have to worry about the or because or just means either or, right? But if we did 10, that would be wrong because it would be false because x is equal to 10, not less than 10. Same thing with 11 or, uh, yeah, well, 111 and 11. But if we did 15, that would be true because x is equal to 15. Now we're going to go over um, something that we kind of touched on in the last lesson, which is divisibility. So when you say, when you do divisibility, we know that uh, x, let's, let's, let's stick with 15 right now, and let's do percentage 5 equals 0. So what this means is, remember, this, this operator returns back the remainder. So let's, do, let's just have, let's turn back the remainder of this, 15 and 5, and you get 0. There is no remainder in this scenario. If we did, let's say, 2, there would be a remainder of 1. But because we did 5, there's a remainder of 0, right? That means that 5 is divisible, perfectly divisible, by uh, fi uh, f uh, 15. So what we could do is we could say uh, this, and then we could set it equal to 0. So that means uh, that means if this is equal to 0, or let's do 15, this, and 3, let's do 2 equals 0. So we know this isn't equal to 0. This would return us 1 because this is not divisible, right? There's a remainder 1. This gives, up, gives back remainder, and we get a remainder of 1 when we do this. When we do this, we get a remainder of 0. So we know that this is true, but we know that this isn't true. So we're, gonna, we're still going to get back... Uh, what, what's wrong here? Um, invalid syntax. Oh, just erase. We know we're going to get back uh, true over here because this is true. Even though this isn't true, we would get back true. Uh, and we'll see this. If we did and, we'll get back false because it's only one is true. But if we change this to one, we would get back true. Now, you could also do not. So let's go back to a simpler method. Let's do uh, x, which is 15, is greater than 10. We know that's going to be true. But we, let's, if we said not x is greater than 10, we would get back false. It just returns back the opposite. It's just simply the negative version of it. It's saying not less than 10, which would mean, uh, sorry, not greater than 10, which would be less than 10. And you could also do, um, you could also do x, y, and let's just do, let's just do 15. The same thing. So print x is equal to y. 
you get true. If we print x not equal to y, we get false. Because these are equal. So you get false. Because x isn't equal to y. Sorry, x is equal to y, not is not not equal to y. A little confusing there. But x because x is equal to y and we're saying that x is not equal to y, we get back false. So these Boolean expressions are very important because they return back true and false statements. And these uh, might not seem important right now, but they're actually very important for conditional statements. This was a lot of information in a short time, but you could kind of, I would recommend fooling around with Boolean statements, and we'll have an exercise out there too. So, so the exercise today is actually not necessarily a coding exercise, more of a logical exercise. So it's a fun exercise. You have x equals true, y equals false, and z equals false. And that means simply the same, right? So we have uh, a print statement, x and not y or z. The question, the exercise is, what is the answer? What would, what would if we run this program, what would uh, the program print? Would it print true or false? So it's either one of those booleans, and that's, the, that's just simply the exercise. No coding, and don't cheat uh, until you need to. And simply... To check the answer, just recreate this program in your replit or your text editor, and you could try to find out what the answer is. But we'll have an explanation for the answer uh, later. So uh, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, click the link and uh, in the uh, below for the Discord channel, and over there you could there's open forms for you to ask any questions for us to help you with your assignments, their exercises, and more.